All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Princess Connect Redive video. And today the hard times two drops have officially came out on the global version of Princess Connect Redive. Now if we headed to the special promotions, as you could see, it's going to be up for four days. Uh, it's the mana times two drops uh, for hard mode, as well as the reward drops, drop ups, which obviously is what we care about the most. Uh, so I've been hard hoarding up my stamina today. I have over 360 stamina and I have a full guild house here. I'm just gonna be going through and going through all of the hard mode stages that I like to farm and show you guys what I like to farm personally. Uh, so for 13, stage 13, obviously I usually recommend most people to get the the three stars that you're going to be using in clan battle and PvP the most. Um, for example, Kokoro I think is a great option to go ahead and use in clan battle, and I do use her quite often sometimes, and sometimes she's used on some uh, arena teams, not so much anymore, you, don't, you really don't see her too often on arena teams anymore. Um, but she's still, I still think she's a good enough option um, to the point where I would recommend you go ahead and farm for her uh, with your hard times two drops. Now, there's a few things I do want to say. And if you are a whale and you don't mind spending money on the game and you know, you know obviously guys, Summer, Summer Kale is just around the corner. Uh, so I don't recommend anyone to be refreshing their stamina. But if you guys know that you're going to be spending you know, hundreds of dollars on this game, um, you, and you guys don't mind refreshing your stamina, like, I recommend going through all the hard mode stages and, like, literally refreshing and then grabbing all the shards. Um, that's, like, what a true whale would do. Um, obviously, I'm not a true whale. I'm nowhere near close to that. Uh, if anything, I'm a light spender. I don't, I don't really like to whale too much on gacha games. Um, if I, were, if I were to choose a gacha game, I would choose, like, one specific game and then completely whale on that, but... In reality, I play way too many gacha games because I think gacha is, I think it's fun. Um, I like the thrill of it. I like the thrill of pulling characters. I like the thrill of not pulling characters. Um, all that stuff is just super exciting to me. And if I had only one game I had to focus on, I wouldn't mind spending hundreds upon thousands of dollars on that game. However, however, uh, one thing I do want to say is that the games I've spent, multiple games, have spent over like a thousand dollars in total. I'm um, over the span of a couple years. Of, like some of these gacha games are older, um, like Dokkan Battle. Uh, the one that's brand new, Genshin Impact. I've already spent like around two thousand dollars on that game. I think it's like one point. The last time I checked was two months ago, and that was one. I was at one point one k in total spent. Um, yeah, I know it's a lot of money, and I, what's funny is I don't really play Genshin Impact as much as I do. Uh, well, I don't upload it. I play Genshin Impact a lot, uh, but I, I don't upload it to the channel, and pretty much the, the main reason the main reason is because, guys, it doesn't get any views. Like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I'm not going to upload content that gets no views and then just make my channel's growth stagnate because I want to be stubborn and upload all the games at once because it's, it's just not going to work. Um... Some people are only here to watch me for my Princess Connect Redive videos, and I completely understand that. You know, I, I, I think watching someone for one specific game isn't a bad idea, uh, but that's not what I want to do with my channel. Uh, for now, I'm just focusing on getting my my channel up as high as I can possibly can with this Princess Connect Redive stuff, um, and then go from there. I mean, I want to try... I, I'm more of a variety kind of person. Like, I, I don't like sitting and playing one specific game. I mean, I can bear through it, you know? I can bear through playing one game, especially if I love it a lot. Like, um, Genshin Impact, I've been playing daily at least, like, two hours a day uh, since November. Um, I, I got it back in October, but I took a break midway through November, but I got really back into it since then, and I haven't stopped playing daily. I don't think I missed a single daily commission quest since then. Uh, it sounds pretty insane, and I think it is pretty insane, but uh, that's just how I am. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I do want to turn my focus more towards variety. Um, the goal is, I, I want, we're, we, we just hit 900 subscribers. Um, as I'm recording this, we literally just hit 900 subs, like, not even 20 minutes ago or something like that. Uh, so we're getting closer to the 1,000 sub mark, and I think I'll be a little bit more confident once I hit 1,000 subs that I, I will be more confident to kind of, you know, display my content, break out into new things, try new things, try new games and all that stuff. Um, there's a few other games that my friends have recommended to me and some of you guys in my live streams have told me about. Like, for example, there's a game called Punishing Grey Raven. I've already had my uh, thumbnail creator. He went ahead and already made me a thumbnail for the game, even though I, I haven't even looked into it yet. Um, but I do plan to look into some of those games. Um, oh, I already did this today. Whoops. I do plan to, to look into those, some of those games because I do think some of those games can be 
uh, good for me and good for the health of my channel. But as I said, I would rather branch out and do variety. I really enjoy Twitch, uh, the streaming aspect, seeing all the people spam emotes in chat. I think that's all amazing to me, in my opinion. But I, I don't think, you know, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Uh, I'm still camera shy. Um, to this day, I'm still very much so camera shy. One day, I will randomly just go live and I'll have face cam on, just randomly. Um, I think that'll be funny uh, because, you know, it, it takes a while for me to regain some of my confidence. But I'll have a Q&A and all that stuff ready for my 1,000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I kind of rambled on about my life and my channel, but I hope you guys didn't mind that. I mean, it's just talking about myself and where I want the channel to go and where I see the channel going in the future. Uh, but as I said, keep in mind, make sure you guys are farming the two times hard drops every single day. You have about 40s to do it, and I do highly recommend picking up some of these valuable characters like uh, Shizuru is a world. Shizuru, I think, yeah, for dungeon right now, in like extreme dungeon, uh, Shizuru is definitely a smart pickup to get with your shards. Uh, Shiori is obviously a great one. Vegeta, obviously a great one. Um, obviously, as time goes on, we're going to get more and more. Coco is obviously, Pe Pecorine, obviously. All those like mainstay characters that you already know are good. Um, yeah, once again, sorry for rambling on for so long, but I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video, and I see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.